So here we are, episode two. Hope you guys enjoyed that first one. It was basically a test run, trying to figure out how to uh, do this camera angle stuff and, and actually create a story that is interesting for you guys to watch. So day two, here we are with something a little bit more interesting. I came across a brand that caught my attention a while back. They definitely do things different. Uh, they think outside the box. There's some details within the boat that I have not seen around really any other center console. And they take kind of an artistic approach to boat building. And this company's name is Vandalize. They have what's called a 305. It's a 30 and a half foot center console, European style. Very interesting boat. I don't have a lot of experience on this style haul and I hear all kinds of comments going one way or the other. So what we like to do is actually dive in there head first, see what that boat does in real conditions. So we set up a sea trial with them. We're gonna jump on that boat and see what it does out in the, uh, at least in the bay. Hope you guys enjoy that. Here we go. Episode two, CCO. Well, just like most days, what we do is arrive here at the office. We have a couple of our things here. Uh, we charge our batteries, we do things like that. So kind of bring the equipment over. Um, so we'll walk in, side, and get prepped for the day. You see we got Brian doing his thing. It's like I never leave. <laughs> do you sleep there? There we go, back to the control center. This is my go-to. Take this with me just about everywhere. It's what we use for our photography. Canon camera. This is a 7200. It's a wide angle, 1635 for interior shots. Usually that does the trick. Bring batteries, chargers, the whole nine yards. Do anything we need just with this bag. So, so that's what I come to set up and make sure I get everything I absolutely need and uh, take it with me on that photo shoot. So I'm headed now to Key Biscayne, Brandon Park Marina to see trial the 305 Vandalize Euro Tender Style Center Console. This is the orange one that you've seen around. I posted it a couple times just to create some awareness about it. We're now going to see it for the first time and get a real look at it, navigate a little bit, see what it does, and I'll get you as much info as I possibly can. One of my personal favorite parts of center consoles only is doing exactly what we're gonna do today. Seeking out some of these new builders and learning about them. We uh, try to find out what makes them tick, the quality of the build, how they ride, is it something special or kind of the same old thing that we see quite often in the center console market. Pretty excited about seeing what these guys have done. I know a little bit about them so far. Looking forward to learning a lot more and seeing what it does. It has a special little something in that hull bottom that has intrigued me. So I look forward to showing you that and hopefully I can give you a, a little bit of video showing exactly what I'm talking about. So those of you not familiar with Key Biscayne or Cranham Park, this is kind of what you look at when you get off here. No shortage of sights, boats of all kinds. We're gonna head over to the marina where the vandalize should be being dropped in uh, as we speak. Somehow strolls into a two o'clock appointment. It's part of the gig, but I could be in worse places. Hey. Here's a quick look underneath. You can see the step. And they have two little tunnels actually that ventilate this whole bottom and actually grab it. So that's the theory behind it. We're gonna test it out right now. So you can 
you kind of see what I was talking about, you can see the kind of artwork, graffiti that they put in there. It's actually very cool. I'm going to show you some of the details from within that are features that you don't see very often on a, at least on a boat this size. So here's a quick look. Has a live well back here. This is not really uh, geared for fishing. They're actually gonna come out with a fishing style model in the near future that they kind of want us to get involved in and help them design to a point. So you can see the little features that I'm talking about. Storage space up in here. This actually comes out to a table for you back in this area. You can see their badge, it's kind of a cool detail. This interior is a type of modern material you would expect in some sort of ultra sports car. It's not the common type of interior you see often. You can see the, this is a Boken Tech material. They have their own design, artistic as I've mentioned. Here you got a single Simrad screen, you can see what's on actually in the boat. When the batteries are turned on, the eyes and that skull turn on so you know exactly what's going on. This little remote control is, is a man overboard system. So if you actually fall off the boat, automatically the boat shuts off on its own. Coming up towards the front, you can see ample seating throughout. You have retractable headrest, so you have a very comfortable seat back here. I mean, up here, I'm sorry. Everything is finished within if you can see all that. JL audio speakers everywhere. This little contraption is actually meant to put your phone down and it charges. So you got phone chargers there, cup holders up in the front. This opens up to a small little cabin area. So you have a bed. You can put a child to sleep or anyone to take a rest, some storage, and underneath you have a head down there as well. So you have this for your fenders. Check out this little detail here. How often do you see a cleat as pretty as that? Not often. Very cool. Actually, something here you never see. These are meant for garbage cans. You actually set up a plastic bag in there and you put your garbage away. Nobody thinks of these things. So here as well, cup holders, more phone chargers. So this is meant as a fun boat, to go around the sandbar, what have you, among other things. Sometimes you gotta get down and dirty. These marinas are the best, because if you look behind me, birds love to do their thing. And that's what I gotta lay down on, shoot these things. So, not all as glorious as it looks, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do.
So there you have it guys. We just wrapped up on the vandalized 305 right there. We just ran around the bay, so it was more to see the interior and the features that they have included on this boat. And I'll tell you what, I mean, that thing for a day boat, a tender, uh, that sort of thing, rides excellent. We went through a lot of boat chop that we cut across. It's kind of like a, a knife. It doesn't have a thick beam to it, so it rides fast. We were doing about 40 when we lifted up one engine with a single 250 Evinrude. Something I'd like to dive into a little bit more is that Euro style hull. You see like that flat front. A lot of people are having a hard time grabbing here in the United States. It's extremely popular in, in Europe. And they say that thing just cuts like a knife. This boat has shown a little bit of that today. I wanna get some video eventually of that boat running offshore to show exactly what that hull does and get the video from the exterior so we can see what the waves do and how it throws the water off and if it's actually a dry boat or, or not. So thank you guys for following along today. I hope you enjoyed that sea trial with that vandalized 305. We have much more coming soon. So subscribe to the Center Consoles Only channel on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. Go to centerconsolesonly.net to see more. And we look forward to much more to come. Thank you very much, guys.